and welcome back to Wapla Virtual Academy. I'm going to be dealing with connecting your database manager to um, a local Docker database in this session. Fairly straightforward process. Um, so here we are in uh, Wapla. We've got uh, Docker running, all services are deployed. I'm just going to mention something that I've come across um, while I've been playing about with doing these tutorials. On the occasions when I first go into Wapla, if I do a system check, I actually get a message saying that uh, Docker isn't running, albeit I can see the tray icon is running down here. And it appears that um, that's caused by your Docker application not being logged in. And I've had occasions where it seems to have logged itself out um, and I've had to log back in. So if you do get a message saying that uh, Docker is not running or there's a problem with Docker, but it clearly is running in the tray icon down here, just check that it is logged in um, and that might well resolve your problems. So anyway, back to the uh, case in point. We're in our targets and we've got... Uh, our docker settings and what we're going to do is we're going to use a database manager to connect through to that database obviously we haven't added any tables into it and at this stage we can't because as yet Wapla doesn't have its own inbuilt database manager albeit I know that's uh, in the process of being developed and hopefully it might make a nice little Christmas present but until then we're going to have to use a separate um, manager so I'm going to create a connection uh, this I'm using here is Heidi SQL um, it's free so it's good in my view it's actually a pretty good uh, SQL manager as well so our host name is localhost I'll just move that on the screen a little better for you Works better if you spell things correctly. Um, our user is DB user. Sorry, fingers not working well today. And I'll just copy and paste that password. And our port number for this is 9906. Click on open. Um, do we want to save the settings? Yes. And that's just opened up on a different screen. But there we are now we can see that we've accessed our database and there's a sample data that uh, docker adds in so we can open that up we can see exactly what's in there so that's how to connect your database manager to a, a local docker database um, really simple and uh, in our next session i'll be looking at docker remote